Welcome to Lesson 2.12, your screencast for Lesson 2.12. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at solving multi-step problems using equations. Our essential question for this lesson is how can you represent and solve multi-step problems using equations? This is very important to understand what is this problem asking? What is the final question that we need to find the answer to? Okay, so if we jump down here to unlock the problem, we're on page 131. If we jump down to unlock the problem, first thing we want to do is actually read the problem. And then we're going to go through and we're going to underline what we need to find, and then we're going to circle the clues that we need to use. So, Chris Mari's computer has three hard drives with 64 gigabytes of space each, and two hard drives with 16 gigabytes of space each. The files on our computer use 78 gigabytes of space. How much hard drive space does her computer have left? So, what we need to find, so we're going to underline what we need to find. We need to find how much hard drive space does her computer have left. Okay? Important information that we're going to need to circle, so our clues that we're going to need to circle that we're going to use are she has three hard drives with 64 gigabytes. Okay? Our next clue is two hard drives with 16 gigabytes. So we have three hard drives with 64 and two hard drives with 16. We know that the files on our computer use 78 gigabytes. So that is our last important clue that we're gonna need to circle, okay? One way that we can solve a multi-step problem is to break the equation into multiple step single equations. And that's the way that we're gonna do it here. So step one is going to be to find out how much hard drive space is on three hard drives with 64 gigabytes of space each. So you see that represented here. We have three hard drives. They each have 64 gigabytes of space. So we would represent that equation by three times 64 equals N. Okay, that is the first thing that we're gonna need to solve. Using one of the methods that you've learned so far, you're going to multiply 3 times 64. The traditional method works best for me, but if I take 64 times 3, I get 192. So I know that for 3 hard drives, she has a total of 100, 192 gigabytes used. Okay. The next step is to find out how much hard drive space is on 2 hard drives. So now we have two hard drives, and it told us in the problem that each of those two used 16 gigabytes. So this is each hard drive, 16 apiece. So now we're going to do 2 times 16. Again, using the method of your choice, you're going to take 16 times 2. We know that 2 times 8 is 12. We carry our 1, and we equal 32. So then we know that for those two hard drives, we have 32 gigabytes of space used. Okay, now to find the total so far that's used, we are going to take the previous two steps and we're going to add them together. So we're going to take the 192 plus the 32 to get our total. So 192 plus 32, we're going to add multi-digit addition, addition, this should be review, 224. So we know that so far, her computer has used 224 gigabytes of space. Okay, that is what she has so far. We're not done, because again, we have to go back. What does the problem ask? The problem wants to know how much hard drive space does her computer have left? So if we go down here, it says the files use 78 gigabytes of space. Find out how much hard drive space the computer has left. So we're gonna take the 224, and we're going to subtract the 78. So 224 minus 78. Got to do some borrowing here. We know that she has 146 gigabytes of hard drive space left on her computer. So Chris Mary has 146 gigabytes of hard drive space left on her computer. 
Okay, go ahead and turn your book to page 132. Okay, at the top of page 132, it's going to be important that we first review the order of operations. And what that means is that's a special set of rules that gives the order in which calculations are done in an expression. First, multiply and divide from left to right. We always work left to right. Then add and subtract from left to right. So that's the order that we want to move in. Okay? So, we first multiply and divide, moving left and right. Then we add and subtract left to right. Okay? Multiply, divide, add, subtract. So, the order that you need to remember is multiply first, divide, add, subtract. Okay? So, we're going to use that order for these next set of problems that we're going to solve and from here on out. So, use one multi-step equation. This multi-step equation is broken up this way. We know that the space used is 78. We know that 3 of those hard drives each represent 64. So 64 times 3, then two of them have a total of 16 each. So we have 16 and 16. In is going to represent the space that we have left. Okay? So to set that up, we have 3 times 64. This is our 3 times 64. Sorry, I'll fix that for you. This is our 3 times 64. 3 times 64. Okay? Next we have 2 times 16. 2 times 16. Okay? And then minus n. Well, if we start with step 1, which is to multiply, we're going to take 3 times 64. And we know from the previous page that 3, three times 64 is 192. Okay? Step, we're still on multiply. We've got some more multiplication. So, we put our 2 down here, times the 16, minus the 78. All right. Now we're going to have 192. We're going to take our 2 times 16, and we know that 2 times 16 is 32, minus 78. So basically, we're just going step by step. Okay, and we're taking this problem step by step. Then we know that we have a total, 192 plus 32, is 224, and we bring down our 78. So 224 minus 78 is 146. Okay, same problem that was on the first page, just a different way to actually work through and solve the problem. So remember from this page, your order of operations is going to be multiply, divide, add, and subtract. Okay, so we're basically breaking it into parts and working through the problem step by step. You're going to move on to the share and show down below. You're going to work out problems one through five. Make sure, please, to do number one first because it is going to break it down into steps for you. And then please be sure to do number three and number five.